it's easy to grow up in a place and just be surrounded by this natural beauty. There's a temptation to almost take it for granted. The Cumberland area of Tennessee especially just offers outstanding opportunities to enhance quality of life. And the Cumberlands um, is an area of international conservation significance because of the rare species and the high quality of the habitats that occur here. The Cumberlands even harbors the possibility of finding species that we don't yet know about but that occur only there. At the same time, you've got unprecedented growth, uh, urban development in many of the counties on the plateau. And so you put these two together and there's really a need for, for solutions, a need to, for ways to find the balance. The Habitat Conservation Plan is the mechanism that the service has for working with people who have legitimate needs to undertake development or other land use activities. Very luckily, we've got uh, very progressive leadership and a uh, strong desire from local communities to find solutions to, to sustainable development. So economic development, saving the environment, all need to tie together. And for economic development in the Upper Cumberland, we must provide the infrastructure and the resources. You see, if we take rural communities that are selling property for $1,000 and $2,000 an acre, and we can bring roads and water to these developers. They will take that property and turn it into twenty and thirty thousand dollar an acre of property. People are coming to Crossell and East Tennessee and Middle Tennessee to retire because they enjoy the beauty of our community. If the quality of the natural environment were to erode in the Cumberlands, then that uh, erodes the potential for economic growth. An HCP, a Habitat Conservation Plan, ties in perfectly with what we want to do, and that is to keep the pristine nature of the Upper Cumberland, provide potable water for our community, and gain jobs. Tennessee Tech University is helping the Cumberland's HCP development team to establish the critical part of an HCP, which is the scientific underpinning. There are a number of species that are going to be covered by the Forest Resources HCP and the Water Resources HCP. Somewhere in the neighborhood of about 20 to 30 species uh, in each of those projects. Some focal species that were selected for the Cumberland's HCP project were cerulean warbler, Indiana bat, those are the terrestrials. We've got um, two fish species, spotfin chub and black side dace, and two mussels, cumberland elk toe and purple bean. This is how it should be. Universities are here to provide information and knowledge base to the citizens of the state of Tennessee so they can more effectively plan uh, and manage their resources that allow them to grow in a sustainable manner. Being a technological university, we can bring things to, to the discussion that, that many other folks cannot. We have state centers of excellence dealing with water qualities. We have them dealing with electric power and energy systems. And we have one on manufacturing. All of these have issues of sustainability attached to them. And the research that goes on here is, um, can be a very vital part of the state's sustainability agendas. It's part of our natural heritage and it's something that uh, as Tennesseans we should be proud of sustaining for future generations. If we don't live sustainably, our children and, and their children and our grandchildren are not going to have the access to the resources that we had. They aren't going to be able to walk out and play in a stream and, and be able to turn over rocks and see little critters. Well, we're really interested in trying to, to demonstrate that forest activities can take place in a way that is economically beneficial, but also uh, beneficial for wildlife species as well. Then, then our hope is, is that it will be adopted, adopted outside of our lands, on private lands outside of that area. 
So I think it's a win-win uh, from that perspective and that's why we're involved in it. The process is set up so that you have tremendous stakeholder involvement, buy-in, where they understand the importance of why you're trying to sustain these resources. They see the vision, and that's what's required. Economic growth and natural resource conservation have at times been seen as being in opposition to one another. But here is an opportunity for economic growth and sustainable use of natural resources to be dovetailed together and to complement each other. Won't you meet me down there? 